Hey guys, it's MJ, and uh, yeah, welcome to the Actuarial Podcast. Um, it's Friday, so I thought uh, we'd leave uh, the apartment, maybe you know, see see how everything else is doing in uh, in Cape Town. Um, hopefully, it's not going to be too windy, and uh, we can actually record this. Um, but yeah, I think the big topic that uh, quite a few of you have been asking is artificial intelligence. Is it going to replace actuaries? And uh, Unfortunately, the, the short answer is yes. Artificial intelligence will replace actuarial science, it will replace actuaries, it will replace everyone. The question though is not if it's gonna replace us, but when it's gonna replace us. Um, that's, that question is very debatable. You know, is it gonna be the next 10 years? Is it gonna be tomorrow? Is it gonna be only in 100 years time? We don't really know. Um, one thing we do know is that it's definitely going to replace the data scientists before it comes close to replacing the actuaries. So if you're studying data science or you know someone who's doing that, I would highly recommend that you yeah, encourage them to study actuarial science. Um, the reason for that is that the actuaries are protected by regulation. So regulation says that you need to have an actuary for, for certain things like signing off on reserves, on life insurance, general insurance, pension funds, all those type of things. And I think that's going to be the last thing that AI is going to touch. Um, the reason for that is I think initially AI is going to be used as a tool for actuaries. We're going to use it to help us with our technical uh, skills such as statistics, maths and like some of the small business stuff. But I think it's only going to get into the judgment and discernment area much later, much later. And only once that's been proven will the regulator say, okay, listen here, we can say goodbye to the actuaries and we can trust this with the system. Um, but like I say, I don't see that happening anytime soon. Whereas having an AI that can take data sets, check out correlations, and then give a little bit of recommendations, I think we, we're on the brink of that occurring. So AI is definitely gonna be a tool used by actuaries. Um, and then y'all, yeah, once it starts working with us, it starts learning to see how we do certain things, it's gonna learn and it is gonna replace us eventually. But like I say, actuaries, we do have, like the accountants, we have the protection of regulation. So we should be fine for the time being. Um, it is getting a little bit windier. Uh, so I think yeah, we, can, we can make this one a short video today. Yeah, we only had two minutes and, and 30 seconds. Uh, let me know your thoughts on on AI, do you, are you scared of it? Do you think it's gonna replace us? Or are you excited? Do you wanna work on an AI project um, and be the person who you know replaces the actuaries? Because there's a bit of like a game theory element to it. Like in a sense, every or all professions or actuaries wouldn't want AI because it would take away our, our job and our livelihood. But if one person does create the AI that replaces all of us, then that person is going to be in a considerably better position as they can get you know, some economic advantage or benefit from creating it. So there is this race to create an artificial actuary um, as there will be a big payoff. I mean, imagine having just a system doing all the stuff instead of paying actuaries, I mean, the enormous salaries that we're getting, you have a system that automates it. I mean, people will pay big money for that. So it is a little bit of a race on for creating a, an artificial AI, um, or your artificial actuary, artificial accountant, artificial lawyer. And like I say, I think it will happen. Uh, the question is just when it's gonna happen. Anyway, I need to get going. And uh, yeah, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below and what you want me to discuss tomorrow. And yeah, hopefully the wind didn't mess up the audio too much of this video as it's, it's quite nice to be outside in Cape Town, you know, just uh, amongst the water and, and all the pretty boats. Anyway, keep well. Cheers.